Today's video is gonna be about how to remove the Find My feature on an iPhone. Now the Find My feature is an anti-theft feature that Apple designed so that if you lose your iPhone or you give it away to someone and they erase it and reset it, if you haven't turned off that Find My feature, they will not be able to get past the welcome screens. It will force them to connect to Wi-Fi during those welcome screens and then it's gonna come up with an error message stating, hey, this iPhone is already attached to someone else's iCloud account. So why does this happen? Well, a lot of times if you're giving your phone away, you're selling it, you know, you go into your settings screen here, you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you click on this reset and then you go to erase all content and settings. And if you do this without turning off that Find My feature, Basically, the phone's gonna be erased. In other words, all your data is gonna be removed from the phone, but the next person that gets it will not be able to proceed through the welcome screens because that Find My feature is still turned on. So ideally, if you have the phone in front of you still, you can go to the Find My section and turn it off. And I'm just gonna type in here, Find, because a lot of times things are buried and hard to find. And you can see here the Find My Phone feature comes up. And so here it is, and you can see Find My Phone is turned on. So you'll wanna go ahead and open that menu and toggle that green switch there and that will turn the Find My feature off on your phone. It's probably gonna ask for your password, maybe the two-step authentication if you have it turned on. But once you turn that off, then you can reset the phone and it will be completely removed from your iCloud account. But what if you've already given the phone away to someone, you've already sold it and they're coming to you and saying, hey, I can't use the phone you sold me or gave me because it's still locked to your iCloud account. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so you can remove an iPhone from the Find My feature from just about any computer that's connected to the internet. Here I've just got a Safari browser window opened up. And the website you wanna to go to is iCloud.com forward slash find. The keyword there is find, and that's gonna take you right to the page that we need to be on. So iCloud.com forward slash find. It's gonna have you log in first off. And of course, enter your password. And you can see it loads a page that looks like a map in the background, and that's how you know you've landed on the right place. Then at the top here, it's gonna list your devices. So right now, I have just one device with the Find My feature turned on. And of course, this is the iPhone that we wanna remove, so I'm gonna click on it. And then it shows me the current location and brings up this dialog box off to the upper right corner here. Now, if you're looking at these options, you might be wondering, well, how do I remove it? Because all I see is a play sound, lost mode, and then erase iPhone. And that's what makes this kind of confusing is that you have to initiate the erase option in order for the remove to appear. And I think Apple did that because they wanted to make sure before you remove it, that your phone is indeed erased because once you remove it, you can't go back in there and control it remotely with these options here. So we're gonna go ahead and initiate this erase iPhone option. And that's gonna bring up this dialog window here. We're gonna click the erase option. For security, it's gonna have you enter your password one more time. And then if you've got two-factor authentication turned on, it's gonna send a six-digit code to one of your other devices. And you go ahead and enter that in. And if you never used this browser before, it's gonna pull up the trust this browser message. You can just click not now. All right, so then you're gonna see a couple options here in the upper right. You can see it's giving you the option to put a phone number in. Now, if you indeed lost your iPhone and you wanted your phone number to appear on the device once it's in the hands of someone else, this is where you'd put that phone number in. But for us, we just wanna remove it, so we're gonna skip that and leave that blank, hit next. And then you also see an option to add a message, and we're gonna leave that one blank as well. So hit the done. And then you'll see what happens. It comes up and it says erase started. All right, so it's trying to remotely erase the phone. Assuming that it's connected to the internet, this should be successful. Now, I don't know if you caught over here for a split second, there was a cancel or a stop erase request that showed up before. So if your phone is not connected to the internet and you want to remove it, you can still cancel the erase request and then this remove from account option should appear for you. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. But for us, the erase was successful. So now we've got the remove from account. So don't stop now. You wanna finish up by clicking this remove from account. And you can see it gives you one last confirmation here. And as soon as you click remove, you will not be able to go back and remotely control that iPhone. So make sure you really do indeed want to remove it. And we do. So we're gonna click remove. And there you go. Notice how no devices are listed here. 
Now, if you had other devices on your iCloud account before, you would still have a pull down box. And I would recommend just pulling that box down at the top here and just making sure the device that you thought you just removed really is missing. Otherwise, if you've removed all your devices, it's gonna look like this with just a map in the background. Now, let me interject one important distinction to make. So a lot of folks, when they're trying to turn off the Find My feature, they land on the iCloud settings page showing your devices here, especially if you're doing it on a mobile device. And so they think that if they click on the device here and click the X, that that's going to turn off the Find My feature. And this is actually completely separate, this list here of my devices. It's completely separate from the Find My page. And you can see we just removed this particular device from the Find My page, but it's still showing up under My Devices, and that's completely normal. This is almost like a history of devices that you signed into with your iCloud account. So you can certainly remove it from here. It doesn't do any harm. But just remember that this is not the place that you want to land if you're trying to turn off the Find My feature. If you remove it from the devices here, but you fail to go and remove it from your Find section, from your Find My section, it's still going to be linked to your iCloud account with the Find My feature turned on. So definitely make sure you land on a page with a map in the background. And if for some reason you do land on the settings page, you can get to it up here in the menu under the Find iPhone section. All right, so now that you've got the Find My feature disabled, you might be wondering, well, what happens to your iPhone itself? So you can see here that it brought the iPhone back to the welcome screens, it reset it fully, all your data has been removed, and now it's ready for the next owner to go through the welcome screens. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Here at J Brokers, we deal with iCloud issues quite a bit, as you can imagine. We are a risk-free secondhand marketplace. We make it safe and easy to get a cash offer on just about anything worth over a hundred bucks that's easy to ship. So definitely check out our website. You can get an instant cash offer on over 2,500 common products, just like this iPhone today that we're removing from the iCloud account. We have Android phones, Microsoft laptops, Again, 2,500 common products. You can get an instant offer 24 seven from the convenience of your home. Now, some of the things that our customers appreciate most about J Brokers is first off, we always pay the agreed upon amount for the agreed upon item. No bait and switch gimmicks ever. And secondly, we always pay our customers on the next business day after receipt, rain or shine. So if you're looking to sell your Apple product or another item worth over hundred bucks, definitely check us out as we would sincerely like to earn your business. Thanks for watching.